So there's a lot of different types of skis out there. It can be very confusing to choose. Finally, we have some science. Finally, some research has been done to better direct us towards the right selection of ski for ourselves. A lot of people out there have been on the wrong ski for the particular situation that they're in. So for this video, we're looking at one study. For the 11 to 13 year old, the muscle activity differences when skiing on a wide ski and skiing on a narrow ski, and also the perceived differences and how that relates to learning. Is there a muscle activity difference between the wide ski and a, and a narrow ski, and we chose the narrow ski to be a slalom ski, in U14 skiers. So that would be young racers. The reason why we went to this research was because we were seeing a lot of skiers, uh, young racers, skiing on wide skis for their free skiing. And that's a, a large amount of time for that age group. Uh, while they're skiing off the race course. So in wondering if they might have some, it might have implications on the development of their technique for racing. So that's my research. But I found that there was a difference in the muscle recruitment pattern between the wide ski and the slalom ski. And the difference in the, it was in the timing as well in the muscle activity. So we would see with the wide ski, it was harder for the skier to get onto the edge and start the turn. So they kind of waited until they're in the fall line and most of the forces would be at the end of the turn, where it, as it's coming across the fall line again. With the slalom ski, it was much easier for the skier to get onto the edge and make that turn, start up the turn faster. At that age, they're learning, they're at a great stage, a 12 to 13 year old is learning the foundations of ski technique. They, they know how to go up and down mountains, but then they're trying to refine it so they can go around gates and know how to react to uh, different, you know, objects or things, external, for, external environmental things, such as a, a piece of snow here, or icy, whatever. Um, they're trying to react to that. And if they're learning how to react to, you know, terrain, something like terrain on a wide ski, and then go try to do it on a slalom ski with these differences in mu muscle activity patterns, we're gonna have a problem when they're trying to do it fast in a course and trying to avoid injury. So perceived differences uh, were taken with the athletes and uh, questions were asked, you know, how confident were you on that run? What line did you take on that run? Was it a good or bad line? Was the velocity, uh, was, you know, did you feel fast or slow, one to 10? Aggressive, were you aggressive? So the perceived differences were really important in this study um, after each run, showing that um, they did show, our results were showing that the skiers were more confident, they had a better line, they were more, um, they felt faster, and they were more aggressive with the solemn skis as compared to the wide skis. And for that age group, and when they're learning these foundation, these, fundamental movements of skiing, um, it will become uh, attached to them better if they have confidence in what they were doing. The previous research with psychological research on learning a skill, uh, the development of a athletic skill in different sports has shown that with confidence, uh, the learning the skill, it makes this learning a skill easier. When you have a U14 skier to make sure that they're free skiing on either their slalom skis or their GS skis, something that is probably 65 underfoot like they are racing on, don't even have them ski it on the wide skis because at this time in their development, that could be, you know, it could be a detriment to the the ability to learn the technique they're going to use on the race course. You might need a definition of the wide ski. In research, we 
you know, it's anywhere from 80 millimeters underfoot to, you know, 140 are the wide skis. Um, in the market, sometimes a 95 underfoot would be a narrow ski. So it's interesting. Um, race skis are about 65 underfoot. And that's what um, my research dealt with. And there's a lot of people out there that think an 80 underfoot is narrow. That would be a narrow ski, yes. Yeah. And the wider skis serve a really, really important function for the skier in a particular area. All righty, I wanna wrap this up with a bow. This ought to be really important information for the ski coach out there when it comes to guiding your athletes for a ski choice and also for the ski pro when you're dealing with the general public out there. Uh, these ski choices are important. Heidi Nunnenkoven, you've spent three years of your life working on this project. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'm going to follow this video up with a little commentary on my own when it comes to wide versus narrow skis for the general recreational skier. So stay tuned for that. And bye, everybody.